We are at the ESC studio. I'm Michel Kemajda from Paris. I'm the current president of the European Society of Cardiology. And it is my pleasure today to interview Professor Hu Dai, who is the president of the Chinese Society of Cardiology, but who is also the organizer of a big meeting which is held in Beijing annually and which is called the Great Wall Meeting. Professor Hudai, good afternoon. Uh, could you please, please tell us how you view the collaboration between the European Society of Cardiology and the Great Wall Meeting? So I've been to uh, Great uh, European uh, Cardiology Society meeting for many, many years. I have seen the real progress of the good meeting. So I start think how to cooperate with the ESC to bring the delegates from ESC to China to share our knowledge advance in cardiology to protect the people of Europe and from uh, Asian countries. So I'm so glad and uh, uh, thankful for you, uh, Professor uh, Kamaida, to bring the first group from ESC visit China in April 2010. From the one mark meeting, we have uh, come sense. Then we start my ESC in China since Great War meeting in 2010. This year is going to be the third one. It's, it's growing better and better and bigger and bigger. Can I ask you how are organized these My ESC events in the Great War meeting? How, what is it all about? I think the My ESC China is very meaningful. Uh, acad academic exchange events between our two societies. I, uh, I mean, the ESC uh, group uh, always brings the uh, new evidence for controls and uh, uh, new guidelines uh, published from uh, your society. And also, uh, the delegates from ESC, you brought, uh, have a very good uh, design. I mean, the case-based guided learning is not the only learning sentences in guidelines. Also, uh, I mean, the train the Chinese cardiologists uh, with uh, case-based. This is a very uh, good way for uh, education. And do you like the fact that clinical cases are being presented by ESC speakers and that they are commented by Chinese speakers? Yeah, I think this uh, this another uh, aspect I, I, I like, uh, because not only uh, speakers from a European society cardiology uh, keep talking, uh, we both of the, uh, I mean, uh, arrange some Chinese speakers involved in discussion. They can share the, their experience in daily practice, not, not only uh, listen to speakers. What is, uh, from your point of view, the main interest of this exchange between speakers from China and from ESC countries? And what would you think the attendees to my ESC in China would get as a take-home message? What is the most important for you? Uh, I think the first, uh, uh, I mean, the, the topics we should uh, uh, highly select. Uh, also, I think the language. In one way, we can uh, prepare the, both English and the Chinese slides. Uh, if we can have a high quality simultaneous translation in the near future uh, is going to improve the attendance. Uh, and the third one, I, I already uh, 
put uh, bring the Excel, uh, the professional language uh, training for younger Chinese generation, improve the uh, increase level for Chinese cardiologists, especially the younger generation. I think uh, this uh, we can do in the three aspects to try to have more uh, Chinese cardiologists attend our uh, medicine China meeting. One last question, Professor Hudai. Do you think that Chinese cardiologists can use ESC guidelines, or do you think that there are some difficulties? Uh, for my uh, understanding and the feeling is, I mean, uh, uh, European guidelines uh, seem closer to Chinese uh, uh, cardiology practice. Uh, compared to uh, ACHA, like uh, you are guidelines prevent prevent cardiology, you already divided European countries into high risk countries and the low risk Correct. countries. Yes. Also, you use uh, I mean the relative risk certification. Uh, well, I was noticed use. Uh, uh, risk age. This innovation, is, I think, is very useful in Chinese uh, cardiology for prevention cardiovascular problems. I think uh, because uh, relative risk in Chinese population still low. If you use a Framingham, maybe you overestimate the risk, mm -hmm. and you may overuse the limited resources. So I learned a lot of uh, from uh, guidelines uh, published in, in, in your society. Before we conclude this interview, I would like to say that we are delighted to go back to Beijing in October. And I think that we will discuss data from registries comparing Chinese data to European data and that it will be very exciting to see potential differences and explain why. Thank you very much, Professor Hudai. So you welcome to Beijing again, and uh, thank you for your uh, continuous effort to make uh, the cooperation between ESE and the Chinese cardiology so successful. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.